so do you remember how to find the perfect spot? Yes. Sunday, we had a two-day program. We hosted 57 students from James Cardinal McGuigan, and they all were CPR and first aid certified. And this program is a part of something that Toronto Police is working on. It's called Community Connect. So there's been similar offerings across the city trying to get young people, like the students that I have behind me, get them certified in CPR and first aid so they can help save people in their community. Where's, where's the center? PC's Glenn Jones and Melody Carroll, neighborhood community officers for 31 Division, are heading up several community initiatives with the high school students that they work with every day in an effort to forge bonds and change perceptions. You know, being in the school, interacting with the students, it builds trust. They're feeling more comfortable coming and talking to us. They've done a lot of other programs throughout the school. How important is that positive police presence in the high school? It's definitely important because I feel like there's a lot of negative stigmas towards policing and how they are as a whole. Um, so for it to have such a positive impact definitely goes towards more of a positive mentality when you think about a police officer. And that's the main goal of the outreaches that have included things like resume writing workshops and babysitting certificate courses. It's really important because um, some people may think that the police officers are not good people, but like after you get to really know them, they'll literally support your whole life. A message the officers hope to spread. We can help them. We have tons of resources that we can offer. So even educating them on police officers aren't just the people that show up and arrest people. We do so much more. To see more pictures and keep updated on all of these amazing community policing initiatives, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In North York, Audra Brown, City News.